Hi guys, Jill Blanchett here with Green Thumb Stampers. I am here for another version of Find Me Friday. I am bringing to you this week a technique. Um, it's not really a fun fold. It's not really, I guess it's a technique. It's called triple layer stamping. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. I'll show you how to do it. This week I'm going to show you guys something called triple layer stamping or triple time stamping. Um, it has several different names, but in essence, you are going to stamp on three pieces of paper at one time. Now you can uh, layer this flat like I did here. You could pop each of your um, layers up with dimensionals. That looks awesome too. Um, that's what I did on this one. I got each of the layers popped up. Or you can even shake up the layers and they don't have to be the actual frames. Um, three different layers you could do, um, or three different sizes. You can do different variety of shapes and sizes. But for today, we're just going to do the flat uh, stamping so that you can get an idea for it and you can go from there. I am going to show you the stamping technique. So while this is sort of a no frills tutorial. It's not. I'm showing you more information about it. So you're going to start with a card base that's five and a half by four and a quarter. You have a standard layer for that at five and a quarter by four. Then I cut mine down an inch. So the next layer is going to be four and a half by three and a quarter. Your next layer will be four and a quarter by three. Then you're going to come in another inch smaller at three and a half by two and a quarter with a layer that's three and a quarter by two. So then you're going to take all of your white pieces, so set your colored pieces aside and get your white ones. And of course I wrote on mine, so I'm going to flip them over. And you're going to put a little tiny bit of adhesive. This is what I do anyway. I put a little tiny bit of adhesive to hold it in place when you're doing the stamping. Stampin' up, stamp and seal might not have been the best choice. I might not get it apart. That's some sticky tape. Guess that's a good thing, right? All right, so now I tried to center them all, all the whites there. I'm gonna use my uh, Delicate Dahlia stamp set in Bumblebee. And I'm going to, my samples I showed you, I had popped up the sentiment. This one, I'm going to try and stamp around it. So I'm going to put a little thank you kindly right in the center. And I'm going to stamp around that. So we're going to ink up our big flower. You could do the outline one if you want first because there is two stamps in there. There's an outline in the inside, but I'm just going to show you with the outline. So then you just want to stamp it down on your paper. But make sure that you can, should be able to see through your clear block. Make sure that you are getting your um, image solid. I did this a couple times and I didn't get a good solid image. This white space here is going to be there. That's normal because the stamp can't get right up that close. So that's kind of like when you mask something, you would cut out the like this flower design and lay it over the top to do another one right on right next to it kind of thing and you would cut it a little tiny bit smaller so that you don't get this white line. So that's another tip if you try masking to cut the mask a smidge shorter, smaller than your actual design so that the stamp can get up next to it because otherwise you will get that white border and wonder what happens. So we stamped that. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to stamp another one. I guess I'll stamp up in this corner. Whoops, I'm off my off my foamy mat. And I can see through the st 
like that. Let's come up and do a couple more. I'll do this one kind of a full one. Like so. And then we'll do a partial just down here. My off camera. I'm working my way there. I've done this video a couple times today because I keep going out of frame. All right, so I'm going to stop with that, with the flowers. And then I'm going to come in with some leaves. Just add some leaves real quick to... Oops, I'll take that off because that's going to get in the way of my... Put another one over here. Placement. So hard to decide. And we'll go off this way with this one. We'll call that good. All right, so now we got that part done. Now you're going to take it apart carefully. And then you're going to layer these onto the cinnamon cider. And that's pretty much how it's going to go together. Like so. Now, as I said, you can pop these all up on dimensionals if you want. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave them flat. But you're just going to layer each piece onto the coordinating size of base. And then I will show you where the magic happens. Then you're going to take this base piece. Oops. I'm off my paper. And then just make sure you've got it going the right direction. You're going to line up. See, your the cinnamon cider is going to cover up that little white space that we created. Um, and so then just kind of line up your image the best that you can. Try and remember where it went or judge your, um, your border, like your, your space around. I think I put that on there a little crooked, but I can't get it off without messing with it. So let's keep going. Your... That wasn't very smart. Either. Your um, cinnamon cider piece here is going to cover up. I wanted this one on first. What was I thinking? Will that fit on there? I'm going to go with it. And then I will use my goober getter to. All right. Do not do what I just did. But if you do. Hopefully you can recover. All right. So if you don't get, if you do have a spot where maybe you don't get it close enough, you've still got some play with the layer to cover that up. So then you're just going to, again, line it up. Do your best to get it back in place. And adhere it down. So there you go. Some triple layer stamping. Give it a try and let us see how they turned out. Alrighty then, that's it. 
until next week, you guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again soon. If you try this technique, don't forget to post it on Creativity in Bloom, my Green Thumb Stampers Facebook page for all things questions, comments, all things creative. Bye, guys.